So today we're going to be exploring two abandoned houses as the drone's coming back in. We are going to two abandoned houses, one of which is on an island, both on the same property. You want me to catch this drone? I got it, okay. I got it! You're taking off with me on it. I'm about to let go. Okay, there you go. This house was built in 1941 by a very wealthy man and he built a property there. He built one house, he built a tennis court, and then he built a bridge that goes to an island here on the lake that he had his house on. We're gonna be exploring everything. I'm gonna be explaining a little bit more history once we're there, and we're gonna be learning the history when we're there as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. This is a super unique place, and I'm very thankful to be going inside here today. So let's go. I'm gonna to enjoy today. Hopefully you do too. There's two things you need before every explore. Boots and bug spray, specifically ticks. And now we're ready to go. So currently we're in the middle of nowhere. There's not really an easy way to get to this house. So Chris is gonna drop me off and he's gonna drive a couple miles and he's gonna actually scooter his way over here because we can't really be seen in a neighborhood like this. It's, there's no walking area. So this is like what behind the scenes of Urbex is sometimes. All right, it's coming up any second now. Nobody's behind us. All right, here's my stop. I'll see you in a little bit, all right? All right, so we made it on the property. I'm gonna be waiting for Chris for quite a while, so before we head inside, I'm gonna go towards the water. I just wanna show you guys the island this guy had, and we're gonna be exploring that one last, of course, but let's go check it out. This is the main house here, it's just a two-story brick building. Then we have tennis courts right there. And we have another couple of houses over here I didn't even know about. I had a work shed, and we even have like a greenhouse. Yeah, totally a greenhouse. You still even have plants in there, in the pots and everything. So this guy had an enormous property. I'm sorry if the wind is too much at any, at any time. This is really windy today. Imagine owning a little side house like this. You have a little trail you can walk by. Really nice, especially on a lake. Look at that, you even have a little cove here and they put a bench and everything. So this man really had his own public park in his own backyard that he kind of created himself for him and his family. Here's the bridge, we're coming up to it. It looks like a tree fell onto it, but it's still holding up pretty well. Wow, it's so windy. But right across that bridge over there is another house here a part of this property also left abandoned something super unique that i've never explored here and i'm excited to check it out but before we head to the island we're going to check out the main house see what we could find meet up with chris and get the heck out of this wind check out this old sundial next to the tennis court just it put into this rock. How unique is this? I haven't seen one of these in a really long time. I wish it wasn't overcast right now. We could actually see this thing in use. I got the back door wide open. You have trees growing into the house at this point. Oh. 
Oh God. That was a pain in the ass, but look at this room. We just entered a little kid's room immediately. Look at this. Got a little Pez dispenser left behind. The first thing I notice on the floor as I'm getting my light out to start recording is I see a flag with my name on it. Even though it's spelt with an A and not an E, the guy's name is Devin. Maybe it says Devin though. Unique that the guy here shares the same name as me though. So immediately we're sent into a children's room. I guess a boy by the looks of it. Got race cars and trucks on the bed. Look at this little tiny little jacket for a kid. It's like 90s varsity jacket style. And we have a Chips Ahoy pillowcase. These are in pretty good condition, but once I turn around, you can see that the roof is caving. You could see how much grime and bits of the ceiling are actually on the floor. So there's a bit of water damage in here, but we're gonna be giving the best little tour we can. Bunch of pictures left behind as well. Wow, this could be the property. This says 1995 on it. No, this isn't the property. This is like a family vacation. But we know they were here in 95. I'm not sure, if, you know, when they abandoned this place, but we're going to be using clues left inside the house to figure out when and why they left. You know, all these photos are from like a family vacation they took. Check out the interior of that little cabin there. So retro. Got another picture. Little uh, lakeside cabin. Just gotta send it. <laughs> oh, cool. I know. Whew. Immediately, we're in a little kid's room. How is this place? It's pretty good. I mean, I've only been in this room so far, but I know what the kid's name is. Okay. Look. That's fun. David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to explore the rest of the house. Weird setup in here. This looks like it could have been an office. I haven't seen someone do that in a long time. Look how depressing this Nemo is here. It's a Finding Nemo balloon, completely deflated. Oh, it's Nemo and his father. Yeah. Yeah, so this like weird wood paneled office was I guess a bedroom, a guest room at one point too. Bunch of furniture in here. Clothes. Pictures of family and kids. Already I'm seeing things left behind from the owners, like tickets to concerts, just laying on the desk here. I'm not gonna show the tickets because they're kind of local venues, but just crazy to see things like this just laying on this, uh, this dresser here. But this room isn't that interesting, so let's keep it moving.
Still got the towels hanging up. Some stuff left behind in here too. Whenever you find things left in the kitchen mirror, you always know they think that people left in a hurry. They didn't bring the stuff that they could use. Oh my God. This kitchen is insane. There's a tripod in here still. That's weird. Look at this kitchen table. Wow, doesn't that look like you're in your own little restaurant? That's so cozy. I love that. There's crackers still on the table. Should I try them? They're still packaged. Even has one of these little mini TVs, these little mini satellite TVs. These are so cool. Mini personal television with AM, FM radio. Let me know if you've had one of these back in the day. Can't believe this is still chilling here on the on the table. This place must have been abandoned pretty long ago. Just like that, we actually have a calendar here. 2008. 2008. So with what we found so far, we could assume that this place was definitely abandoned in 2008. So only really sitting around for 15 years, the decay in here is pretty serious. Um, not sure why the people left. It was probably a family death, I would say, but everything's left behind. Like, I'm looking into this storage room and everything's here. It's overwhelming sitting in a room with so much here. You just don't know where to start. And there's a whole story here as well that we haven't even unfolded. And I could tell just by the logo of this Pepsi bottle, this is old. Pepsi logo hasn't looked like that for a while. Still got some memories left on the fridge. Drawings from children and photographs of kids as well. People love me opening the fridge in these videos, but I'm going to save that for last because I have a feeling there's probably food in there. So Chris just called me over because his camera just died. We don't believe it, believe in the paranormal or anything like that, but he told me that he was recording and this door swung open. And as soon as he turned around, he noticed and then he went to go look back at the footage and his camera turned off and now it won't turn back on. I just wanted to make a comment about that and how weird the hallways here in this house are. You see how deep this hallway is and how deep that hallway is? Look how spooky this house is. Like what? Walking around here at night would be, would be crazy. Oh, you got the footage? So I just took my battery out and put it back in and it came back on, luckily, because I'd be really mad if I couldn't film this place. But check this out. There it goes. Oh, I see it slamming. That's wild. If I can't see it on here, I'll have to plug in your clip. Yeah. If I was recording and I saw the door open, I'd be scared too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wasn't scared, it's just weird that my camera was turned off and wouldn't come back on. Yeah, that's definitely strange. You hear that noise? There's a lot of noises in the house. Yeah. Fucking you know, most places we go, people leave it because they die in the home and such, but I'm not too sure this person here left. <laughs> but how this is going right now. In this dark hallway, which I was talking about before, we have the vines just reaching their way into the home. So people definitely came in here and trashed the place. Oh look, you still got all the mugs left behind in pretty organized fashion. This is a huge microwave oven. Oh my god. 
The microwave oven is about the same size of that huge oven right there. That's wild. Very disorganized kitchen. We even got some peanut butter left behind, some orange marmalade, peanut butter, more peanut butter. This is labeled June 2000. Still packaged. Probably wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, so we got the whole kitchen here. Pretty large kitchen behind us here. Basement. And this looks like just a storage room, little uh, pantry, if you will. Just use the storage closet, though. Just glasses in here, plates, collectibles. Oh, here we go. Here's the pantry. We got syrup, we got beans. Oh, yeah. Here's all the good stuff. Oh my god, there's a can of seltzer here. Not open. Never open seltzer. You could see it. It's empty. What happened to it? It's like only filled up to here. Where does it go? There's no holes. Found a bunch of bubbles. Never opened. Oh, there goes my camera. I got the bubble liquid in my eye. These suck. These must be expired. I tried. So I just met up with Chris again. He gave the perfect comparison. He called this place a doctor's office because that's kind of how it's... It's weird. It's just a bunch of hallways, long hallways. Do you see these windows? Like, oh, yeah. Why are those windows just in the <laughs> exterior oh, wall? Yeah. I mean, the place was probably interior built... Wall. Yeah, the place was probably built for AC, so... That's open true. all the windows and get good ventilation in here. But this place is just like a doctor's office. It's just long hallways and just rooms on both sides. Like, there's nothing comforting about this home. And look at this. This is totally what you'd see in a doctor's office. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> That's art. You'd see a doctor's office. Calming art. <laughs> but other than that, we got some old uh, computers here. <laughs> yeah. No Obama. So this was the office, I guess. We got all the electronics here. You see those old boxes of phones? Oh yeah, Verizon. Look at these. Anybody have the LG VX4 4500? I love that they're like showcasing Tetris. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. State of the art, man. Fun and games. Download cool games on your phone and personalize your ringtones? I can't imagine. Over here on the storage shelf, we have some more 90s electronics. We got a Panasonic printer. It's mainly like a office setup. We have some manuals here, telephones, answering machines, it's just different things. I'm thinking the people that lived here, maybe they used these as their business. They made like signs and different sort of things for people before it was so accessible for everyone just to make whatever they wanted on the internet. These people were specialty makers of signs that's what my guess is back in the kitchen just for a second oh what is this oh is this a washer dryer this is so old this is the oldest washer dryer i've ever seen kitchen aid oh 
wow, it's still, things are still in here. That's how you know people left in an emergency. I mean, there's dirty dishes, or clean. Well, they're dirty now, but they're still here, is what I'm getting at. Just insane. Beautiful kitchen appliance, though. Love that little wood paneling they have. This is super cool. I just noticed by moving away the decay a bit, you could actually see. It says basketball four to six, Claudine. There's still appointments left on this calendar. No games that Saturday, but you got games the next Saturday. Just the entire schedule for, I guess, the guy's kids team still here. So they actually had two microwaves in here. I didn't even notice this one. Samsung microwave. With that big boy. That looks like we're heading into... Ooh, this is like the living room and dining room, maybe? Wow. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is like a, a castle. What the heck? I had no idea this was here. This is ridiculous. Oh my God. You could see where the original fireplace was. They kind of took it out once upon a time. Kind of ugly, but what a beautiful room. And look, you have all the, you got the TV and the audio reels hidden behind here. This was state at the art at the time. I can't close it because this is in the way, but you can completely make it disappear. And on the other side of that, we have glasses and drinks, so this would be such an amazing social room. Just all chill out here next to the fire. There's even a little upstairs people can hang out in. This is an amazing chill room. And it's so different from the rest of the house. And this little trap door has to be the craziest part of this little room because Obviously, there would be like a hatch here, but it's completely missing. But there was a hidden staircase that they just put stone on top of. That's ridiculous. I mean, if you have a hidden staircase in your home, I, I, you're cool. I mean, I'll just say it. What a beautifully impressive room, though. Oh, I just noticed! Look at this! All the heights of the kids still here on the wall. That's so special. That's so special. That's amazing. Finding little remnants like this inside old homes is so special to me. Because there's memories all right here. There's a whole family worth of memories here. And nobody tell it. Yeah, so you'd be able to close this and get a really good amount of privacy here. What a castle. Beautiful room. This would be my favorite room here. Double couches. And this very strange centerpiece of the owl guarding this room. Old little fitness bike. Looks like it's from the 70s or 80s. Nice orange. Look how beautiful the front door is too. It's like a castle. What an entry to a house. And right outside this main room here, we have another room. Look how big this vintage hot point refrigerator slash freezer is look at enormous this is I mean these people had money because of appliances like this at the time were certainly pricey and it's just sitting here it's got to be in good condition too it's just a few thousand pounds I'm sure <laughs> it's 
speed freezer, yeah. So this is, these up here were the freezers. And the rest was just refrigeration. Also have an old TV sitting down here as well. Really cool stuff. The RCA Victor, new Vista color. It's a color TV, probably one of the first of its kind. So far, this house is absolutely amazing. There's still a whole other house to see as well. So we're gonna keep moving. I think there's only a couple more rooms here in the basement and the second floor actually. So we still have a bunch to see. Just crazy to see how much is left behind in this house. So yeah, we're jumping into the living room now. Not much going on here. We do have a huge hole in the ceiling. Right up there. But pretty spacious living room with some shag carpet. Yellow. How many houses have a courtyard like this? So this was their courtyard slash garden here. Yeah, so right on the other side of their kitchen table they had this garden here you can see some of the pots still left behind a little bird fountain and we also have a Buddha I don't want to glance over the living room we both have the two doors leading to the courtyard Another beautiful fireplace, big open room. Over there is the little castle room and the dining room between. The room I'm about to step inside is decaying not only beautifully, but amazingly. Check this out. Check out this library here. This is ridiculous. The place is falling apart with the most water damage I see here. But just take a look at the decay and the natural beauty of this room. The shelf over there is completely falling apart due to gravity and water. So many books still here in this in this office here. Got nature just coming in right there. Got the nineteen ninety eight Sears Fall Winter Catalog sitting here in this office. Let's see what they were selling at Sears in 1998. Cats. All 90s fashion here. Taking us right back here. Oh, demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're on to the electronic section here. Apple Apple or IBM. IBM. Commodore 64. Oh, here we go. Camera Minolta. section. Wow. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I wish they were still around that price. Point and shoots. The surf shot. It's cool. Oh. Boombox. It's funny because everything on this page, everything on this page, Everything on this page, this they all page. they all fit into this now. <laughs> Look Literally, at that. Everything on here. <laughs> and, the, and this is why Sears is abandoned. <laughs> wow, the TV is... Bigger and better. For 99, those are still old looking. Could you imagine saying bigger and better at a 25 inch? <laughs> yeah, 25 inches is nothing. We have a little McDonald's shirt on her. Yeah. So interesting. VHS. $700 for a VHS player. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. How much are these? $35 monthly. Oh my god. Like $1,400 in 1999 <laughs> for one of these. 
This is the oh days. the games. These are all VHSs. That's Nintendo. Nintendo. That's neat. And that's it. <laughs> so cool going down memory lane. Wow, this room is thrown around. Some pictures over there on that on that shelf, but we have two couches just stacked on top of one another. This might have been all the furniture for the living room, just thrown in here for some reason. Let's take a look at these photographs. Wow. Look at that. There's a whole shelf of memories still here. So sad seeing this crusty shelf just filled with all these pictures of children and family, all loved ones. It's the only thing happy in this house. Look how bad the water is over here. There's like no ceiling at all. I'm thinking fire could have been the reason this place was abandoned. Wow, look at this closet. Entirely filled with clothes. The floors and the ceiling is just so bad in here. I don't want to step inside. There's just rusty metal pointing down everywhere. Yeah, but this room is pretty unique. I'm going to say this might have been the master bedroom here. Giant bed. We've got a little curved window there. And we got our own little fireplace here as well. Definitely the largest bedroom in this house. So definitely the masters. Check out that artwork here on the tile. All the ties still here. Clothes everywhere on the floor. And I guess this was the master bathroom here. Wow, enormous bathroom. Look at that. You have moss growing in here. Because of that open ceiling. We still have a towel just resting on the door. I mean, this place is creepy. It's creepily abandoned. It's been sitting untouched for decades. You even got the toilet with the reading material behind it. Completely covered in dust. Can't even make out what it says. From the bathroom, you can get a good look at the tennis court slash basketball court. Got even more rooms over here somehow. This is filled with just a bunch of beach stuff. Beach chairs, towels, umbrellas. And that's another bathroom here. Nice little green and red one. Oh, look at this. This is baby steps. Oh my god. So when the when the people of this home built the house, you have the dad's footprint here and we have the baby's footprint still in the concrete. Look at that. Can you make that out? That's insane. I would have just missed over that. So not really a not really a traditional upstairs, just an attic. Oh yeah, it looks like there's storage, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of storage up here. But there was like a balcony for that one like men's like den area. Oh yeah, yeah, the the, the outside. It's right here. <laughs> the rest of the house. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice view up here. It's actually higher than it looks. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And look, check out these railings. I saw some down there. They are, um... They're made out of shotguns. Yeah, check out the railings oh, I love this cow. for this upstairs area. They're real deal shotguns welded together. All right, now it is time to go into this trapdoor. 
see what's down there. Just a single beach ball in the corner. Just a boiler room. It's creepy down here though. Yeah. A little tunnel. Weird thing to have a trap door for. Yeah, it's like a fallout shelter. Oh yeah, it is kind of reminiscent of a fallout shelter. It keeps going. Does it keep going? Like yeah, they had a little workshop, washer dryer. Ping pong. Is there a ball? Yeah. I don't know, a bit of the handle just got on my hand. <laughs> Yeah, wow, there's a garage here. I didn't even know that. Yeah, this place keeps on going and going. Oh, we got more storage down here. Some food. A freezer. Wow. Oh, that's filled with a lot of rust water. Wow, this is a real deal workshop. So much paint, primer, power tools. Wow. You got a whole boat in here. Usually we find cars. Yeah, usually it is a car, but here is a boat. This whole room just smells like battery acid. There's some sort of chemical leaking out of this boat. Nice boat. Does it got a name? No name? I don't see one. So I thought I did the entire house and I'm walking around taking pictures. There's a whole hallway filled with rooms I didn't even check out. Well, check, check this out, this place is such a maze. Got the long corridor there, got the kitchen in there, and then this is the section I missed. Did not see this at all. Three, four more rooms. This is just storage. What's over here? Come in. Yes, this bedroom is cool and all. Yeah. Check this guy out. Oh, look at that. It's a little dove. That's beautiful. Got his little nest here. It won't disturb, buddy. But look at this room. Another kid's room here. There's definitely a really small child. Got the Bob the Builder. Bed sheet. We got this little homeschool desk here too. Hey buddy. Protecting your eggs? Yeah, I know. There you go guys. You turned into an Urbex video. But instead, you get the gift of life. So when one, one family leaves, the next family comes in. So these abandoned places work. And then you got this bedroom here. Look at this. This is in great condition. You got some glass on the floor here. Broken window. But... Beautiful, beautiful room. Look at this. This old uh, suitcase left behind. Wow. Can't even open this up. It needs a needs two locks, two keys. Beautiful little room. Just kind of reminds me of a little beach house.
Nice little bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Can't believe I almost missed this spot though. It's crazy to explore the whole house and see how much destruction is inside. How much water damage after 15 years can destroy a home. But in this room, you could see how preserved a location could be for 15 years. Be for 15 years, excuse me. All we have is some dirt and dust and grime in this corner here. Nothing you can really see on camera. But we have a beautiful time capsule here. Got all these plants here next to the bed. We're all dying. We're dead. Nothing left now. Another little bit of decay you could see. A little peeling of the, uh, the paint. Very creepy and eerie room though, for some reason. The one with the least amount of decay gives me the weirdest vibes for some reason. We explored this side, finally. Now we're gonna head to the island and explore the rest of the property. I feel like I've been here forever. I think we've been inside documenting, taking pictures and videos now for about two and a half to three hours. Just taking in the ambience of this home, learning a little bit about the family and just enjoying it. Enjoying the home, it's a beautiful place. I definitely think the part that looks like a castle, that part was definitely built hundreds of years ago and this part of the house we're in now was added in the 40s, so pretty cool house. But uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the rest of the property. All right, so we made it outside. I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out the shed here. Let's see if there's any anything interesting. Okay, this kind of looks like a horse stable. Kind of looks like there'd be animals living in here. I don't know, this kind of has a horse stable feel to it. A little small for horses, though. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably... That's probably... This is just storage. The one thing I love about these old houses is they always have these stone walls that are so common in this old part of the country. You gotta think that hundreds of years ago people laid down these rocks here. Just like the rocks we see over here for the property line. I just love the look of stone walls or stone fencing. Alright, here we are coming up to the bridge. Here it is. You ready? Wow. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Hopefully we don't fall in. Walking on a bridge that hasn't been maintained in 20 years. You can literally feel the wood moving beneath me. Do you feel that, Chris? The whole thing is swaying left to right. Whoa, whoa careful there. Last step. <laughs> Dude, look, it has its own like concrete boardwalk. This is so cool. Let's walk this way first. This is a natural water pump? It's not working anymore. This is so, so cool. This is so cool exploring an abandoned island like this. Wow. You see the cameras right yeah. there? Yeah. 
You see how fake it is? It's a fake camera? Yeah. You got him right there? Oh, Let's see. Can you meet them? Oh, it has a red light that it flashes too. We should probably still get out of here soon. We were pretty soon. Yeah, let's walk around this little cabin here. How beautiful is this little, I feel like we're in the middle of the woods now. I feel like we're on a little cabin getaway here. Super spacious and very cozy. Nothing left though besides the stuff they can't move. There's even a pencil sharpener here at that kind of dates the house. And this is like just the one bedroom here. Just a really rinky dink mattress with some life uh some life vest on top. There's a bathroom there, yeah. That's nice. I think this is the porch. Yeah. Oh yeah. It would make a really good Airbnb. This would be a great Airbnb. Such an amazing home. So peaceful. An abandoned island house. Pretty sure I could speak for everyone when that I could say maybe everyone wouldn't mind living on an abandoned island. How cool would that be? They built their own stairs right into the water. And look, right here is like a little like hot tub refreshing refreshing area. You got a little bridge here. How peaceful is this location? Look at this spot. That's so cool. I wish I could have a home like this. You just walk right in anytime. This is a whole other building that was here on the property, demolished. So at one point there was three buildings on the property here, three old buildings on this very vintage and old property. Beautiful, beautiful place. I sincerely mean that. One of the most beautiful properties I've had the pleasure of stepping foot onto. That's gonna do it for today's exploration. What an amazing location, amazing property, historic property with so much age. What a beautiful house, abandoned sometime around 2008. Definitely a lot of medication around, certain rooms set up easily for maybe a loved one that was in a pretty bad medical position. So I think elderly parents passed away, kids maybe moved away, never claimed the house, the property's still here but everything's left behind, no vandalism, and the place had its own island. I mean, I could speak on and on about how beautiful the property was, but you guys saw it. Hopefully you did enjoy, and if you did, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know right away, you know the spiel. And that's gonna be it. Not gonna hold you guys for too much longer. I'm just super thankful and gracious I was able to explore that beautiful place. So until next time, guys, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.